Members and distinguished members of the Tri Caucus, I appreciate the opportunity to appear before you to discuss the Department of Defense's status of the military's diverse recommendations. I appreciate your continued support of our reserve and active military personnel. Uh, as the Director in the Office of Diversity and Management and Equal Opportunity for the Department of Defense, my role is to ensure diversity considerations are in all aspects of OSD policies and programs. We have many efforts underway to support DOD's ability to attract and retain a diverse, talented, and high quality total force capable of meeting current and future mission requirements. And in many respects, implementing MLDC recommendations bolsters other ongoing efforts. Some years ago, we began to facilitate discussion amongst department leadership about enduring diversity challenges in the department. Leadership was recorded a defense business board study and made a diversity summit both focused on improving representation of minorities and women in general and flag officer ranks. One of the primary means of institutionalizing many of the MLDC recommendations is our plan to incorporate those recommendations as part of DOD's diversity and inclusion strategic plan. As you may know, last fall, the President issued Executive Order 13583, which directed executive departments and agencies to implement a comprehensive and strategic focus on diversity and inclusion as a key component of their human resource strategies. The Department of Diversity and Inclusion Strategic Plan aligns the MLDC recommendation with the Department's key documents to include the 2011 National Military Strategy, the 2010 Quadrennial Defense Review Report, the 2010 National Security Strategy, and the 2010-2012 Personnel and Revenue Strategic Plan. Our plan will standardize a singular mission and vision for diversity within the department. It also safeguards the recommendations of MIDC by providing an overarching construct that encourages commitment and aligns the department by giving latitude to the services and DOD agencies to incorporate diversity and inclusion initiatives unique to their organization. I look forward to sharing that plan with you very soon. The department's senior leadership fully recognizes the leadership's full and sustained ownership of the diversity and inclusion strategic plan has been critical to its success. We embrace that challenge, and not only as the right thing to do, but also as a critical mission imperative, both now and into the future. As to the specific MLDC recommendations, I, along with component senior leadership, am committed to moving the initiatives forward and institutionalizing the best practices and process improvements recommended in the MLDC report. Our primary focus continues to be carrying out strategic efforts to increase diversity throughout the ranks, particularly at senior leadership levels, instituting an accountability process across the services to identify areas requiring engagement and improving our education training programs as a foundation in equity and diversity training. I personally chair the MLDC Working Group, which is comprised of the Service Deputy Manpower Reserve Affairs uh, Principals and Service Diversity Representatives, and we meet quarterly to address the twin recommendations. One focus of the working group is to establish the foundation for effective, effective diversity leadership congruent with the Department's core values and vision of its future. The group also addresses the development of future leaders who represent the face of America and are able to effectively lead a diverse workforce to maximize mission effectiveness. We also advise, review, and recommend policies and practices that will make leaders accountable for instilling diversity leadership as a core competency in our armed forces. In previous meetings with members of your staff, we provide a complete overview of the MLDC recommendations and actions taken today. We provide additional updates today as the service leads will outline the specific actions they have taken in response to the recommendations. In OSD and in our Office of Diversity and Management Equal Opportunity, we continue to support the services and their efforts as well as initiating changes at the OSD level. Our efforts include expanding the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute curriculum to include diversity training, cross-cultural competencies, and disability program management training. The office has expanded OSD outreach efforts, and we are working to align those efforts across the services for maximum impact. We are also developing a dashboard to monitor service progress in respect to demographic changes in force structure. Furthermore, my office continues to work with partners in the department on those MLDC recommendations aligned outside of our office, such as the Women in the Service Review Working Group. We are committed to a culture of inclusion in words and actions in the great recent incidents that, that may call that commitment into question. The department's policy prohibiting hazing is unambiguous, it is contrary to good order and discipline, and is unacceptable behavior that undermines our commitment to inclusion. 
the Department's active literacy initiatives and policy, training and reporting to reinforce this position. The Department categorically views diversity as a strategic imperative. The only strives to feel a total force to reflect the best of the nation and possess the diverse background and experience necessary to meet the complex challenges of the future global security environment. As significant members of the total force are becoming retirement eligible, we are presented with a window of opportunity to shape our future leadership by ensuring access to a diverse talent pool with the skills necessary to meet future demands. With your support, in partnership with the services and DOD components, we are fully committed to leveraging the recommendations of NRDC through DOD's diversity and inclusion strategic plan. I look forward to the service leads sharing their efforts and to answer your questions at this time.